We got some throwback. We're going to do it in the style of Weakest Link. Okay. All right. Or you vote someone off? <laughs> no, we're not going to vote anybody off. It's just like the, the time. See how many we get in that. All right. Okay. All cool. right. Uh, who wants to start? Ravy. Okay. Ravy? All right. All right, Ravy, here we go. Titanic was number one at the box office. Princess Diana died, and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was first published. What was the year? 97? 97. Uh, Bill Parcells and Phil Simms led what team, Seabass, to a Super Bowl win in 1991? Well, that would be the world-famous Buffalo Bills. New York Giants. Giants. <laughs> in that Super Bowl, Sammy, the Giants beat the Bills. The new kids in the block were the yeah, halftime show. And who sang the national anthem? Uh, Michael Jackson. Whitney Houston. Yes. Come on. Uh, Menace, Mike Tyson bit off a portion of whose ear during a boxing match? Holyfield. Holyfield. Noise. Gregory, what country did Iraq invade that started the Gulf War? Kuwait. Iran. Iran. Iran so That's far true. away. Wait, what? Right? I mean, go ahead. No, it would be Kuwait. Yeah, but. Are you just making these up? No. Uh, maybe they went <laughs> Iran and then possible, Kuwait. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. That one I actually got from one of those cards. Oh. Mm. Oh, well, it, it, sorry, there's a technicality that we okay. have to... Uh, yeah. we, we need to look that up. <laughs> yeah. Is it, I, uh, Did it start in Iran and then? No, it's all Kuwait. Is Kuwait. That, yeah. Kuwait. So, yeah. Yeah, Iran, Iran has their own force. They could have uh, <laughs> yeah. They would have fought back pretty hard. They wouldn't need <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. All right, forget yeah. that question. Forget that question. We're moving right. on. Wait, hold on. What Next. game gave you that? <laughs> all right, Gregory. Yes. Kuwait. <laughs> <laughs> Iran. Iran so far away are the lyrics from what new wave 80s band? Flock of Seagulls. Ravy. What is the name of the diner where Jerry, George, Lane, and Kramer go on Seinfeld? Oh, God. Uh, 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 Al's? Monks. Monks. Oh, Seabass, what's the name of Quint's boat in Jaws? Old, old oh, ass I boat. I don't, I'm passing to Gregory. Orca. The yeah. Orca. Come on. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Sammy, what popular 80s hairstyle is business up front and party in the back? The mullet. The mullet. Menace, Matthew Broderick was Ferris Bueller. What was his best friend's name? Uh, Beavis. Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> Greg sense. Gorey, what branch of the military does Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell belong to in Top Gun? Uh, Air Force. Navy. Uh, Ravy. Mm -hmm. The Palm Pilot was a type of PDA, but what does PDA in this case stand for? The Palm Pilot was a personal device? Digital assistant. assistant. Uh, uh, Those no. were all the rage, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I remember I got, um, I got a cell phone... That had a Palm Pilot like built into. Remember those Menace? Yeah, it had the little stylus. It was the first mm -hmm. phone I ever saw that had a little yeah. stylus yep. that was attached to With it. The little antenna and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And so, like, because people before that had a uh, Palm Pilot and then their phone. Is that the one to you had to learn shorthand? Some sort of weird shorthand? No. Uh, or is that a BlackBerry? I never had one. No. Oh. I never could get used to BlackBerry. I tried to have a BlackBerry uh. at one point. I the the spin wheel on the side thing messed me yeah. up. I'm like, nope, can't do it. But yeah, when I got that Palm phone, because it was the first to combine both the uh, Palm Pilot and the phone, man, was that thing cool. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. had BlackBerry for a minute because they had their own version of Instant Messenger. Yeah. That everyone started using. Yeah. But then, you know, it's BlackBerry. All right, the iPhone if... killed everybody. <laughs> so, Greg, you're the last one. Oh, no, Ravi was the last one. All right, uh, we'll go to Seabass. Seabass. What are the three instructions you hear in the original game of Bop It? Pop it, twist it, suck it. Pull it. <laughs> Damn it. Sammy, koosh balls were made primarily of what material? Rubber. Yes. What was the name of the strip club menace where the Sopranos hung out? Uh, Trixie's. Oh! The Bada Bing! Bada Bing! Hey! Gregory, what was the name of Mr. T's character in Rocky? Oh, uh... uh Scrotum McGee. <laughs> Clubber Lang. Clubber Lang. This 1985 adventure film was about a group of friends who searched for treasure in order to save their neighborhood from foreclosure. The Goonies. The Goonies. Nice. really good at this. <laughs> Which phrase, accompanied by showing the palm of the hand, was meant, I'm not listening, or go away? Talk to the hand. Yeah. Talk to the hand. Wow, yeah. first right answer. That should have been Sammy's. Uh, who directed the 1997 movie Titanic? James Cameron. James Cameron. All right. Yeah. That was good. That Man, was good I'm surprised. Rap. I... This is like, uh, I feel like Seabass when he brings up legitimately difficult questions mm -hmm. for DUIQs or some of these other things that he does. 
I thought all these would be mega easy. You should have seen the ones that I passed up on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I'm looking at all, some of these other ones, and I'm like, good Lord. Remember when Menace had um, the chat GPT yeah. questions? Oh, my yeah. God. And we're like, Who's Who? the richest woman in the world? Uh, uh, Lady Johnson. Knows that. Yeah. Who was the richest <laughs> woman in the world in 1996? No, it was like current day. Yeah, I know. But I'm Who saying knows like, that now? It was those types of questions. Wow, right. okay. That, I didn't realize the Goonies plot was they were trying to save their neighborhood by finding treasure. These guys yeah. are idiots. Like, well, no, they, they're not going to be able to keep that money, the dumbasses. No, Watch dude, now, they, they stumbled dude. upon. <laughs> they were, okay, they found out that the neighborhood is going to be foreclosed on. The whole they're going to have a golf course. Yeah, because they're going to put a golf course Good. there, yeah. right? And so they were all bummed out about it. They're dicking around up in the attic, and they found the map. And, they're then like, they're and like, they heard that real? One-Eyed Willie had some treasure there, yeah. so they went on the adventure to go find the treasure. One on Willie's rich stuff, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. they were able to save the neighborhood. Yeah, they were basically in the middle Hello. of moving, and then they said, "You know what? We found this map. But, uh, Might but, as well try." What are the financial <laughs> mechanisms to that? Like, so you find treasure, and you're yeah. uh, suspend uh, disbelief for a movie. <laughs> well, it's not a cartoon. I'll, I'll walk you through it. That's go ahead. Ask your, Especially in the eighties. Well, ask it, your question. Yes. Well, what? here's the thing. Like, if you want to question everything, it is May the Fourth be with you. So, that like, let's, let's talk about Star Wars. <laughs> How is that like that plausible? As a shoehorn. Well, they, they specifically <laughs> mentioned it, they specifically mentioned it's somewhere else in the universe thousands of years mm, from now. Okay, this is right. modern day eighties. So menace. So if they find this treasure, are they yes. supposed to like have a have a adult like launder the money somehow and then buy? No, out they this? just. Pay what do you mean the launder the money? People? All they do is Wait, hold on. They, so an adult did find the. I have a, I have a question yeah. that you know, and I don't I don't know what the answer is, but like when people they go and they dive down for like shipwrecks and stuff like that, and they find things mm. that are worth. Like, don't they get to keep the money that they... A lot of times that's international waters. This is somebody's land somewhere in Oregon. Yeah. No, it was in a cave. It was in a cave. That's right. It was in a cave. International cave. And and it wouldn't be foreclosure. It would be eminent domain. Right, exactly. Yeah, this... God, this movie sucks. And how... (laughs) how, The movie's great. How dare you? Uh, How does Anne Ramsey figure into all this? You can't tell me she was the contractor for the golf course. That's Mama Fratelli? <laughs> no. They no. stumbled upon them what by mistake. Because they were at a hideout. They were, no, they were at the hideout, the old abandoned <laughs> restaurant. Okay. Oh my God, you guys know this. No, we don't. No, the, I don't. Yeah. They were at the old abandoned restaurant because they were they had robbed the bank and they had you know, gone back to their hideout, which is the old abandoned uh-huh. restaurant, which nobody ever went there, but because they were on the search for this treasure, right. mm-hmm. they saw the, this thing. The entryway to chunk, the cave was by the restaurant. Chunk was thirsty. And no one's know? ever gone to this cave before? And someone, uh, no, Why they have. Baby there everywhere. was people. There was a dead body in there. Somebody that went in the cave before. What do you mean how does baby... Ravy. What? Because when they went down to the basement of the restaurant, that's where Sloth was all chained up, the brother of the Fratellis. Yeah. Okay? They chained him? He was yeah. chained watching a little stupid television. They really oh. treated him poorly. But sure yeah. he had a thing for Baby Ruth bars because Chunk happened to have a Baby Ruth bar, and they chained him up in the basement because the Fratellis got him. And Chunk, to try to, like, you know, get to Sloth to not kill him, he's like, hey, sir, you want a candy bar? Uh, got a baby written. He's psyched about it. Is Sloth yeah. that big monster guy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Not a so- monster. He was like a mongol. Oh, he was? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. There's a difference, Greg. Chocolate. Chocolate. Come on, you guys. All right. So... Hey, you want a candy bar? Yeah, no. there's more. Oh, they got a baby Ruth, sir. That's how excited he is. He's a very problematic <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah, see? So is the goal then <laughs> to take the treasure and give it to the golf course people so they don't want to build it? No, because they had to come up with the money in order to save. Like, If they, yeah. if they, if they the didn't town. pay a certain amount of money, they were going to lose the neighborhood to mm-hmm. the developers. This say. might be a yeah. chance for a Ravian and Seabass version of Does It Suck? <laughs> it, it doesn't, doesn't suck. Suck. You, it rules. You would, uh, you can try, but you would lose that one. Yeah. <laughs> because this is not like 80 for Brady yeah. where nobody really knows this movie and it the premise, it, the, the whole thing. This is like a beloved yeah. classic. And it's feasible because you hear about towns going bankrupt. Right. It's like you a do. thing. You do. But when yeah. I was their age, like Goonies age, I, I, if my parents said, hey, we're moving, I'd be like, oh, cool. Neat. Cool. I wouldn't be like, I must save the town. No, you'd be just, sad because you'd be leaving be all your sad, friends. Greg. No, it, because all my friends go, would be leaving. They're going too. The whole so town's back going. Back to the original question. I guess I remember this scene now. So the at some point, the the shipwreck gets loose and floats off, right? That's the end yeah. of the movie. At the end, because of the dynamite that mm-hmm. opened up the cave, and then the, the ship just went off. <laughs> yeah. And the people in that neighborhood just get to say, hey, that's ours? That's uh-huh. our ship? We get the money? 
No, no the because the, the ship, ship already off. took off. Yeah. They had a bag of yeah. bag of diamonds in, and stuff oh. already in, on their person. But they the, still have to the, launder in a marble bag yeah. because the marbles have been dumped out. They don't, they don't have to launder. They, they don't have to launder. They right sell the, the diamonds. <laughs> here you go. go here. They Bank. sell all Here's the rich the stuff. Can I trade these diamonds in for money? You can't sell diamonds. Yeah, you can't sell like you know precious. Metals and jewels yeah, and things like that. Like, but yeah. if you have that much, they're going to ask where it came from. I got it from a pirate. Yeah. Pirate yeah. Such okay. an idiot. <laughs> Which person on the Woody show <laughs> is the most annoying? <laughs> Ravi. Um, what are you defending this movie? <laughs> of course. Woody. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That's incorrect. Mm. The uh, correct answer is Seabass. Oh. Greg Gordy. <laughs> See if given the chance to punch somebody in this room in the face. See that? <laughs> Who crapped that game, by the way? Who would it be? Seabass. Seabass. Uh, you say that I have no joy, but what is it that hurt you so deeply? Nothing hurt me. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> that's what I, I had no idea the plot of the Goonies until you, it just we came just up. You did it. it. You've it ne rules. You've never watched it? I've seen bits and pieces here. Wow. wow. That's your fault. Yes, so you clearly. talk about a terrible childhood. Now everything makes sense. Yeah. Look, All I right. loved Revenge of the Nerds when I was a kid, but there are serious, there, I mean, illegal things. There's a rape in that movie. <laughs> they're yeah. straight up. That's problematic. You want to talk straight about a problematic up. movie. All right. More Woody Shows next. <laughs>